Good afternoon. Sorry for the little slight delay. I know that normally I'm here at four. I just I needed to eat something. <clears throat> so everything appears to be good. At least I'm hoping everything's good. Okay. <laughs> Okay, why is oh Streamlabs not giving me chat? I guess I'll just have to have Twitch open then. As you'll notice, I moved where chat is. I'm I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put everything when I finally pull my uh, VTuber avatar out because it's almost ready, almost. There's some small things that I want to work on for it to clean up before I go, okay, it's good and ready. Which means I'm just trying to be a perfectionist and I should stop doing that. But I want to make sure it looks at least passable until I can put the money together necessary to have it professionally made. Um, my th Hi, what are you doing? Come here, you. Okay, uh, can we do one? Live. I'm going to mute it for a second.
Okay, sorry for that. I just had to have a quick conversation with someone, which, you know, put me past the five minute mark so I can now cuss. And no cell is not a skydiving koala bear with a bright red, red bow mock and a Fallout Styles fault suit. But now I kind of want one. <laughs> now I kind of want to get that made. If I do, I might just do that only for uh, weird special events. But last time, we had just unlocked being able to leave out the west gate. So I can finally leave town. Of course, I have to find the people that are... Uh, Claiming to be us. And put them in their place. Uh, it feels good leaving the city after all this time. Oh, I have it set up so the chat will be there forever. Yeah. I, I have it right. In, I can change it so that it can disappear in a couple seconds. It can disappear in like 30 seconds, or I can just have it stay on the screen forever. I'm gonna give having it on the screen forever. Uh, I'm gonna give that a shot for a little bit. Um, what I was thinking about doing was act. You're gonna spam a little. <laughs> Well, okay then. Uh, I, I think you're about at the height cap for what I have set on OBS, but go right ahead. Um, I'm thinking that when I actually finally do pull the avatar out, I'm just going to have it sit in the bottom right corner. For, for now, at least. Most because the software that I'm using for the VTube avatar comes with a Oh, that's a little... Yeah, it's a little bit taller than that. Never mind. I am crazy. Yeah, it comes with a button, and if I have it in the wrong spot, you'll see the button. And I know that for me, as a viewer, if I saw that, I would be focused on the button forever. That's it. I'd be focused on that button, so honed in on it, I would forget the rest of the stream. So I'm going to try and avoid having the button on the screen. <laughs> Just going to say that. Um, I've done a couple streams where it's, the program has been open and actually been doing stuff without it actually being. Yeah, so you see, <laughs> that's the problem. Button, press it. Oh, there we go. We know what the cat, what the uh, screen height is, or the chat height is. But yeah, that's exactly my point. Is I would be all kinds of press the button, press the button, press the button. Ooh, that'd be kind of fun to try and set it up for a. Uh, if I can get to affiliate with chat channel points, of having it turn, uh, you be, of everyone being able to turn off my avatar for a little bit, I'll have to figure that out later, though. Okay, heading down the west on the Estates Road should take us to the three-way junction. Now we just have to veer north to get to the desert village. But last, I remember the path there is blocked up off at the moment. We're gonna have to look for a way around somehow. Got it. Let's give me still years and gifts outside the city at least. Let's set out. And still fairly easy to deal with. Ooh. Okay, can't click that. Raptor Raid. Oh, that's... You can fly off the edge. They don't stop you from just... That is hilarious. 
I forgot about that. And this is why I'm so eager for uh, Nordics, is because Nordics is supposed to also have this this open world free roam. I'm not over there right now. What the fuck? Uh -oh. Looks like we've hit a fork in the road. One moment, please. Huh? Oh, it's you. Salutations. It would please me if I could join you. Oh. If you're asking, you must know where we're going. And I thought you were a stick in the mud. What's with the change? You could say I have a bit of a history with the antique shop that was robbed. Nonetheless, there is another reason why I wish to join you. The antique shop? Could you be... Where'd she go? Cradle, look down! You're kidding me. The doll is a doll. She's the doll that was on display at the Rheindahl's shop. Anamona. That is the name I was given. Upsy daisy now I want you to re re uh, to realize something I grew up on like the Chucky movies sentient dolls and I do not get along they get spiked immediately pardon me miss Persian holy hellfire I guess that weird feeling I had at the shop was because of you. So, Aprilis's magic bullets work on dolls too, huh? Bless it, wood chipper! <laughs> that would work too! Perhaps. I would not know. I do not have any memories from before I awoke in the Rheindahl shop. You don't remember being cursed? That is correct. I will tell you my earliest memory. When I first awoke in the shop, I was unable to move at all. <laughs> Though I suppose that was to be expected, I was merely a doll. But I asked myself, why did I awake at all? Day after day I pondered this, but I could not comprehend the reason. Then, one day, I had a thought. I wished to see the world outside. It was at that moment that I found I could move my arms and legs. With my newfound freedom, I was now able to leave the shop in secret. I realized I was searching for something, as if a string was pulling me somewhere. But I did not know what I was looking for. When I thought to myself that I wished to find out, I discovered my gift as a monstrum. In this sense, my becoming a monstrum differs quite a bit from yours. Man, you sure you didn't pull that straight out of a fairy tale? Dolls are not meant to have wills of their own as humans do. But whenever I act upon my own will, I can feel something within me change. If I am with you, Crimson King, I believe I will find what I am looking for. This is what my intuition tells me. 
That was a lovely story, Anamona. Yeah. I had a feeling you'd agree. You have my gratitude. <laughs> What's wrong, Pussycat? Well, it's just... I thought maybe you wanted to return the stolen statue to the shop. I have no such sentiment. I am merely a doll. Oh, I see. Poor Grisha. She is so innocent in this world. Be that as it may, the only ones who can fix me are Mr. and Mrs. Rindall. Their distress from the recent robbery has caused me some manner of inconvenience. Ah! <laughs> so long as you don't get in my way, I couldn't care less what you do. Thank you. Pardon me. I am glad we have this discussion. I will do my utmost to be of service. All right. The north road from this fork leads to the abandoned village. But it's been blocked by a recent landslide. We'll need to find a detour. You seem to be familiar with this region. I used to come here all the time as a kid. Hey, Adol. Let's get a move on. Anamona has joined your party. Act of party can be changed. And yeah. Thankfully all standby members will still get half the half experience. And this is the one that I this is a gift I've been waiting on since I restarted the game. Oh my god, this is a gift that Hate twisting ankles. Ow! Did you twist your ankle while you were at work? It's kind of nice that our group's getting <clears throat> bigger, don't you think? I do not entirely comprehend that sentiment. I'd rather work alone. Allow me. Oh, I guess I'm the only one then. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I have detected something. Perfect. Okay. Now I know that, you know, I'm supposed to, like... Wander this area, find the things, but... With this skill... Back in, here we are back in town. Let's head to the abandoned village once we finish any leftover business. And what? Is something wrong? It's only truly a matter, really. I expect it may prove inconvenient for me to move out of this town in my current appearance. If only there was a solution to be had. Uh, you know, I think I might have just the thing to help. Go and bring it over. Be back in a moment. Whatever, just hurry it up. Oh no. Oh well. Let's see, what do you mean for me to wear these overgarments while in this form? Great proposition indeed. I found one of the Pendleton's quality assurance warehouses. So you got a dozen there, so wear as much as you need. Thank you very much. I shall treat it with the utmost care. So we head to the abandoned village or what? Let's just finish up here and go already. Alright. <coughs> Understood. Cause yeah, I need three treasure chests. I know one's there. Nine petals and six graffiti. Let's see. Yeah. 
And that's why I wanted this one, because I can actually now see the blue way better. And you can actually see it through some stuff. There. Thief on my end my rope. Thief you not still need. You're welcome to try. Go to agricultural district. The grass is greenest in the most fragrant corner of the fence. Just a treasure chest. That's an excellent question. I don't know. I'd go Crimson King, keep on bringing Balduk the man it deserves. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is... Well, that's all the petals here. I need two more petals there. One more petal there. I got all the petals there. I need one here. I need two from this region. But that's the thing. By getting that skill, that makes all this way easier to handle. Off we go. Yeah. Yeah. Hut. Hut. It's the monsters. Off we go. How what? Huh? Huh? Yeah, that's exactly what that was. That was a straight up, give me the shiny. Ah, there we have one, two, three, four. That's all three there. Which means there we go. Got it. One more pedal. They're doing an experiment in rage quitting. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's supposed to be meant like something you're supposed to be saying about me, or if that's actually going on, because that sounds like something that could be going on. Yeah. 
Oh, did I forget to equip the Sustrace on her? Yes, I did. So I need to get up there. Really? <laughs> we and that did. Be all the pedals here. I mean, yeah, that leaves me with four graffiti that I need to grab, but that, that's not as much of an issue. The pedals are the big one that I, I really am annoyed with. Because, like, where are they? <laughs> where did they go? There's two pedals in the Hieroglyph Commandery region. Okay. 22%. I know I didn't double jump during that. Item acquired. I'm not seeing another one yet. Off we go. Item obtained. Okay. That all the graffiti, all the pedals, and I'm missing one chest that I can only get when I get Yeah, I'll give it another couple shots. No worries. I'll make sure that's I'll I'll, I'll double check that later. Okay, now we're in I'm I'm like 98% certain I was over there. At least once. Got it! Okay, and that is... Okay, that, that's another chest that I have to have another monster for. But while I'm here, you put the landmarks. Right there. I see, I see. Top six landmarks. Don't forget. Job well done. I'm not forgetting your reward. Warlord Elixir. Decent little upgrade for that. So that's done, that's done, that's done. There's two more here, one more there. Yeah. Oh, there's one of them right there. You see, it's always going to be <laughs> in the simple it. spots.
go. Crimson line. There, no, not there. Mind of the hawk, blah blah blah. Hawk strength defense increased by three. This is a good deal to me. Oh, there it is. Me. Yeah. Nope, that's on the other side of that wall. Damn it. Okay, fine. My new favorite word, dipshit idiot. Item acquired. Hmm. It's an interesting word to say the least. Okay, then one left here in the shanty town. I'm just gonna quickly teleport over. Not in their region. That's in the noble district. I have to just find the blue dot. But that can also be a lot harder than it sounds. <sighs> yes! Got one! And that's all the. That's everything for Shantytown. Everything for the Central District. Uh, agricultural District is settled. I do need to go grab that thief treasure. He's meant to steal a stash of gold coins, 2,000 gold. Okay. Noble District, I'll get to there eventually. I'm missing one treasure there and there, but those are behind certain requirements. Same for that chest. Uh, two chests here, one's here, other one's there. I think that one's locked. I might be able to get that one, and then four graffiti. <clears throat> well, this is where you were. Hmm. It's probably for me being so unseemly. And I'll try to see you with company. Yes, collaborating with allies is more efficient than working alone. Um. How are your injuries? Should I fetch some bandages or medicine? No. No need all managed. There are more pressing matters that require your attention. As I said, much will be altered as a result of the Grimmel Nox you just faced. And barriers. Nothing more. Ain't nothing complicated about that. If you ain't gonna tell us the truth, I'm gonna have to cut it out of ya. Did you bring me some petals? Made me one happy girl. That makes fifty petals. For your troubles. Right along, Mishy. Thanks a bunch. If you find any more, let me you know where to bring them. How many did you find, I wonder? And over ten. You've made me one happy girl. Sixty petals so far, now that's a 
uh, delication. For your troubles. What can I say? Thanks for doing all this. I've been having the time of my life these days. Crazy, huh? You're always at most at home with an adventure to warm your doorstep. I have full faith that you'll manage to arrive at the truth you seek. Truly, I do believe that. What am I saying? What am I even talking about in the first place? Anyway, I could do for a few brushes of petals myself. Finding an old dream. Did you bring me some petals? Ten more. Perfect. Wow! You found so many! Makes seventy so far. For your troubles. Pretty pink. Thanks a bunch. You're finding more brands of petals, you know where to bring them. Did you bring me some petals? Mm, don't got ten. Two more. Well, then I can't do any more until I get to the Noble District, the Cultural Heritage Site, or the Entertainment District. <laughs> Is it his? No. I can turn white cat into pink cat. Okay. While I'm here... Raise our hammers for the stone we break shall build our homes. Come land the logs, for the stones they convey shall become our ramparts. In the sweat of labor lies our pride as countrymen. I still do not trust Whitey. <laughs> uh, of course you don't. Okay. Why do I have to be the only sad sack in a sea of happy saps? All I want is for every single person alive to be more miserable wretched than me. Is that so much to ask? Well, that was easy. Okay. Ooh, shop over there. Graffiti. Over this way. The blacksmith family is cursed. I'm an honorable soldier of the Roman M army. I was harvesting a listed feeling, and yet my cutie little white cat will it take for me to win you over. Just one touch of your tails, I want. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I forgot about a lot of these. What the fuck? Treasure chest located. Okay. There's all the graffiti here. All the graffiti here. That's all possible graffiti. So I can head back over here. To report to this guy. Alright then. Tell me what you know. <laughs> well now, excellent work. You discovered graffiti in 30 locations. You found more than 22. These results are splendid. Here's your reward. The Aeolus Urn. Perfect. I was wondering where I would find this. These mo are surely more works. Oh, there are more surely more works of graffiti around the city I've yet to study. I would be in great debt to you if I you found them all. Yeah, because you don't want to do it yourself. Marcel's Mithy. Special craftable equipment that raises defense and max HP. Need something? This is as quality as quality gets. Oh, 
I need more sturdy shells and more dark ore for this. Or iron ore, not dark ore, iron, iron ore. Okay. Oh my god. Something bothering you? What? So come again. Twenty-five percent. I have detected something. I think that's everything I can get to, on foot at least. Ain't that wonderful. You can't climb up. Oh, yeah. I have detected something. It, I love the new abilities for this one. Like, the, they took all the good things from Donna and expanded upon it. Which is the way it's supposed to be done. Heal pot. I'd like someone to go ahead and try and tell uh, state how many heal pots I've used so far. Because I can guarantee you right now, it's a lot lower than it should be. Ooh. I'm hoping they put as much work, as much love as they do did for this one, into uh, Nordics. Because if they don't, I'm going to be upset. Because I've been looking forward to the next one in the series. Pretty much since I beat this the first time. Eagle Feather. I don't know what that one's for right now. Is 
Let's see. Where's... If I go that way, I'm going to end up in the landmark and story destination. But I have a dungeon of some sort over this way, it looks like. And there's only one answer when I see something besides the story stuff to do. Ooh, shiny. Pum, pum, pum. There's something got gotcha. you. You can't escape. I have leveled up. I just thought about it. I haven't used any of my food yet. A Souls like East game where Adol is just done. <laughs> yeah, that would be a, that would be a fun one. Since you have to be official, a fan based one that actually does it right would be fun. This is a chief, the Sacred Mountain. Excellent. If rumors hold water, all we need should be right through here. We won't be able to take the horses, and I'm not so keen on hauling all the gear. Don't you think it's time we call it quits? Don't be ridiculous. We can't check it out now. Get those hiking feet warmed up. Today is the day we strike it rich. That's the entrance to the Mount Eldor, once a holy ground of the Norse faith. There's a deep connection to the saint, but the trail up is considerably steep. I wonder if those people will be safe. Let them go if they want to. I say we forgot we even saw them. We got our own crap to take care of. We're having business ahead. Continue with this in the investigation for now. <sighs> I'll remember that cave. The fact that Adol's not full on oh adventure is surprising to me. I need to get over there. Off we go. Get back here and die. Okay. Ooh, another chest. More gold. And then just continue maxing out the map as much as possible. God, this is taking a while. I forgot how much running around this this region takes. But again, it is a proper dun or uh, field rather than all the dungeons we've been going through. Bone. I think I needed some of that for something, but I do not remember what. I want to say a weapon. 
Three one reservoir. Who gives a crap? Okay. Yes, we managed. We absolutely did not just demolish it. I have detected the Okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go and follow it. How old was everyone? Twenty-four? And that's why I love this this uh, adventure, the uh, free roam system, because there is totally a normal way you're supposed to do this. Way over there, no, no. I'm going to jump up the wall and call it a day. An opportune chance to rest. Coming this way. Because that is story, and I don't want to do story just yet. I want to finish map, uh, mapping the rest of this region. Located. Thank you. Okay. And now through the tunnel. Let's see where it takes us. Oh my god, it takes us away. By a lot. That detail. I can just do this. Okay. Now. How much do I have now? 26%? Ah! I need a lot more. I thought this would actually get me, you know, 15% or something, but I was wrong. Something's there. Okay. Whatever you say, game. Just map. Just unlock the full map. The entire map. Not the the whole thing. But look at that treasure chest. A treasure chest. I didn't think there was another one over here, but I had to search just to be safe. Okay. That looks like everything here except for this region and this region. So, time to go forward. Climb up this wall. I can. I can climb up that wall and just totally avoid. Sorry. Damn it! Here's 
here we are. Welcome to the deserted village. I can't expect to be uh, to feel more lonely being deserted at all, but it feels familiar somehow. Almost nostalgic, even. What is that structure over there? I wonder what it's for. It's an altar from back in the old days. Before the Hergov Church took over, both Gleans worshipped the indigenous gods. They called it the Norse faith or something. This thing's a leftover from way back then. Carl told me about that once. They consider the human spirit immortal. Whenever a person died, their soul would, get, would reincarnate into another person or animal. It really gives this place a big mystical feel when you think about it that way. In other words, this side of tranquility has been hijacked as a base of thievery. Just another one that many, there are many crimes to answer for. <clears throat> I spotted some animal tracks that got trampled over near the entrance. No way any halfway competent hunter would make a blunt like that. And that must have been the culprits. Bingo, the hunt is on. Let's hurry and track him down. I want to get enough time to play with my prey. What a dump. Doesn't it strike you as a bit odd? A the door chest. looks new. Gentle sunbeams rain down upon the tranquil fields of flowering blooms. Drums and flutes around uh, resound this through village and glade, honoring those golden days. Praise the gods on this, our time art festive of age past. Turn thy ears to the voices of the divine. The seekers of wisdom proclaim their truths. Distinguish not between right or wrong, should mankind quarrel amongst itself. Such is the way of us oracles, devoted servants of Norse gods. Okay. Oh, looks like I missed a little bit there. And then... Yeah, then there's that, and that that's to be it for this area. Something's there. These underground patches must be ancient. They seem to predate even the ruins outside. They're kind of like the tunnels leading from the cap chapter house. Maybe these passages are all so connected to the prison. That is possible. You think? I wonder what else we'll find there. You team seem awfully enthusiastic about this. Something's there. something good listen everyone there are voices coming from over there ah that sure hits the spot uh, you can say that again I could get used to this they're coming from that room what are we waiting for let's bust that door down Hold on just a moment. Let's listen before we go in. Hell yeah! We scored big time! <laughs> A splendid day indeed! Oh, you really outdid yourself this time, you old sly dog Gordo, you. <laughs> yeah, wasn't expecting it to go half as well as it did. Ha! Toto! Drinks are on me today! Then eat till those dresses don't fit no more! Whoa! You mean it, boss? Your purse strings must be loose today! Can you believe I got this 20 gold cheese for only 15 at the night market? That's not all! I got this 30 gold smoked salmon for a whopping half off! Don't 
even get me started on the coupons you can find in the main square. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Nobody cares about the coupons, boss. Everybody in town's gotta be blaming the monsters by now. Dressing up as those freaks before stealing from the shops was a great idea. <laughs> the garrison and knights must be searching high and low for him right now. And then, once we get dirty rich, we'll knock those stupid monstrums down a few pegs. If I'm not careful, I just might wake up one day as King of Balduke. You sure are an evil genius, boss. We don't even mind that you're a huge cheapskate. By the way, when are we gonna sell that swanky saint statue we stole? <laughs> oh, patience, Dodo. If we stroll on into Pendleton with a thing like that, we may as well turn ourselves in. We need a black market dealer who'd be interested, but not enough to ask questions. Judging by their attire, it seems they were attempting to impersonate us. I smell blood in the water, and I'm starving. Or we could calm down and think about this. No! I wonder if the people in town really thought it was us just from those outfits. That would be quite a pity if they did. So you can feel things like pity. Damn, Kato. They seem to still have the statue they stole from the Rindals in their possession. What should we do, Adol? What? Why do we have to do that? It is possible they command a tactical advantage, so it is a wise decision. Fine, whatever. There's nothing else you can really do here, so... Just a quick save. Sorry, boys. Party's over. What? What? Who's there? It's... It's... It's you people! Yeah, it's like they're our imposters! In your dreams. dreams! Dumbass. And you're the Crimson King. Wait! You mean to tell me that you're the real Monstrums? Yeah, fucker. Boss! We've been made again! No, no, no! I thought the real ones couldn't leave the city! Unfortunately for you, we're allowed to go on business trips now. You stole from the Rindal shop, and then you painted us as criminals! For the crime of disrupting the order in my residence, I will see to it that you are punished. <laughs> The hell's the matter with you? Your brain cells abandoned ship after getting caught red-handed? You stupid monstrums! Keep talking big while you still can! Huh? What are you on about? I expected this to happen, so I set traps in this very room! Whoa! Good going, boss! You're even cooler than I thought! Is it some kind of secret weapon? Be, be careful, everyone! Take this! Your... Cell, do you have any commentary? 
I don't. I don't know how I want to feel about this. Is he just going to continue zooming out? How long is he going to zoom out? How long does it zoom out? Oh, no, oh, it stopped zooming. You idiot. We only pretend to follow this trap. So we can escape from them. That's what you want to call it. You don't really think to get on purpose, do you? Not for a second. Not, not a chance in hell. I know a little bit of despair when I see someone. <sighs> yes. Let us follow him down. I just thought about it. I never gave you your mask. There's a whole lot more than I was expecting. Guess we might have some decent fun tonight after all. This, the area appears to be rather antiqued. I expect my gift will come in good use here. At all, like okay, so there's at least three floors. <clears throat> Chest. Um, graphical error? I have detected something.
Such a wonderful graphic glare. I'm gonna need to go through this. Oh, I net. I forgot to grab it. Okay. Focus on defense. Focus on offense. <clears throat> it's a dead end, boss. What do we do? Uh, my God. Checkmate, losers. Any last words before you meet your maker? Dead. I want you guys to know that I love you. We haven't given up yet. Throw in the towel, and you may as well give up on all your dreams. Wait, I'm confused. Who are the bad guys here again? What's the matter? Be silent. Something is coming. Look, guys! The heavens have answered our prayers! Let's get the hell out of here! For being such a bad guy, boss, you've got pretty good luck! Remember what these guys? 29? I wasn't expecting that. Not that powerful at 29, huh? Those morons gave us the slip. Perhaps if we resume our pursuit, there may be time yet to capture them. <laughs> Crimson Boy! Another location. Came in runoff deposits. What is extraordinary about this place? North blue. Let us go. Let us go. Stronger than ever. I have an opportune chance to rest. Okay. Now, what I need to do. Now that I've opened that, and I can actually wander through a bit more. First of all. Snag that. That way I don't get screwed again. Your chest located. Okay, now I can get the chest. Vortex Grimoire. Mr. Ebe.
I don't trust this at all. And that's why I don't trust it. That statue is moving by itself. I detect a vital force within it. You mean that thing's alive? That conjecture is inconclusive. These things are lower. This is lower level than the two spiders. What? What? Huh? My my brain does not want to function or comprehend that. It appears that we must remain on the switch for the path to open all the way. Get a load of that enormous door. Bet there's something fun behind it. We should take a look at all. I ain't rolling for no trap right now. Just not. I will, however, make use of my adventure spirit. And wander this entire region. Yeah, I want none of your traps. No. Treasure chest located. Rock Sasha Bear Bangle. And that takes us back to the main room. Okay, Bengal. What does the Bengal do? Ah, uh, gift gauge charges faster. So that's good for town. A treasure chest located. One, two, three of the seven. Okay. Let us go, Adam. I have leveled up. 
Nope, nope, it's gonna be always gonna be more spiders. I don't know why you're asking, not less. A treasure chest. Yeah, if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't even notice that he existed. One more chest? Where? I have detected something. I don't I think. Something's there. Okay. Now I don't have the spider on fucking chase me in here. I'll take the spiders with that. But I gotta move forward. <laughs> Dude, I'm out. Grace, it's huge. D -d -d Don't panic. Raise your arms like this, and maybe it'll feel sorry for you. <laughs> Help! Ah! 
What's with this place? These freaky bugs are everywhere! Hey, you there! Monstrums! Okay, okay! We plead guilty! We'll behave! We won't run away! So I beg you, please save us! What? What do we do? It seems like they're sorry. Sorry, hell. They're chock full of shit. They'll wait for us to turn our backs, then they'll fly the coop again. That is also my prediction. No! You guys got us all wrong! Look at these puppy eyes! You see any lies here? You need to get the statue from them. Yes, you're right, Adol. We can't let the statue get damaged. Damn it. <laughs> they live because I want the statue. That is all. Yeah. Normal mode, everything is way easier than you do in a nightmare. <sighs> These bosses don't even feel difficult. I managed to defeat to beat it. Though, at the cost lane, the thieves escape, it seems. But how could they? Of course they could. Now we look like the idiots. Next time I can give them a lick of mercy no matter what anyone says. Anything else in this area? No? Okay. I detect a rather significant change in scenery. Looks like we're in the prison again. Guess it was really con it really was connected. So the path we just took was an escape route back in the old fortress days, huh? Makes sense. You probably want a few ways to get out of the city. The thieves are nowhere to be found. Let us be cautious as we proceed. <laughs> Treasure chest appears to be empty. Well, oh, shit. Strap, we've been locked inside. Look, look Look! at what we have here. Monster Menagerie. Serves you right. I knew I had a bad feeling about the chest ever since I first laid eyes on it. Good thing, boss. Even your intuition can be right twice a day. No need to worry about them chasing us down anymore. All we gotta do is go back the way we came when we're home scot-free. From this day forward, we'll be the ones known as the real monsters. If you scratch that, everyone just start killing them after new days. Uh, boss, you might want to get a look at this. I'm trying to gloat here. 
There's so many. Where did they even come from? This ain't good. Let's come on. Let's get out. Oh, they're coming from behind too. We gotta be kidding. Quick, let's tighten the open cell for now. Hurry up and shut it. Whoops. You nincompoop. I said shut it, not lock it. But wouldn't they be able to get in if I didn't? Nope. They're going back. We're saved. Saved. Saved how? Every single one of us is in clink. What in the hell are we supposed to do now? I don't know. Start a death, I guess. Don't play coy with me. Aren't you monsters a real deal? Do something about this. Thanks for the save, Crimson King. Impressed to be done. I was not previously aware one could escape in such a manner. Like a walking utility knife, this guy. Done patting his bag over there. Could you let us out too? Please, we meant defeat. Can we just leave a little of us right in here, would ya? Let's return the statue you stole from Arson Lane first. Alright, alright. We'll do what you say. We can open the cell at the same time we give you the statue. Sure, sure. Scout's honor. So, what do we really do? We're dealing with a surprisingly conniving bunch here. Now, that's a good point. What if we have them put the statue down in the back before we open the door? I see. That way we are able to recover the statue after they left. Fine by us. We're putting the way, way back here. See? I don't know we went through this. Steal it? Sorry, Joe. That comes to mind. I'm just doing what's best for our future. Seen statue. Now, if you thieves could just gather in front of the door. Try anything funny and I'll make sure you have to win stitches. We're done playing tricks, now hurry up and let us out. Comes King, if you would. Ah! Don't scare me like that. What's gotten into you this time? Hawk, what did you just do? Oh, just a little emergency signal we might you like to use. But bet a few of them are already on their way as we speak. You set us up? How could you? Do you monsters even have hearts? I do not, as that so happens, for I'm a doll. The signal came from over here. Who goes there? And here comes Calvary now. How long have you been planning this? A whopping zero seconds. I just jabbed a word to all he was to go in that, so I decided to join it at the fun. <laughs> Much appreciated. Mission complete? Better scram before they catch us, too. You need to us. Mark my words. You guys are just awful. It's gross to all monsters from kind. Aren't you. Aren't you faking being us? How would you even know? No, we're back where we started. Don't let me just touch up the statue all of a sudden. I cannot say for sure myself. I simply really cannot contain myself the moment I saw it placed upon the floor. Before I knew it, my body began to move as though of its own accord. The hell that's supposed to mean? It's not like you got crap all, all to do with the saint. Indeed, it's quite peculiar to say the least. Well, at least we know the prison has an escape route that leads out of the city. We've been making all sorts of progress ever since Adol joined us. And that full moon Grimwald Grimwald wasn't anything to sneeze at either. It's no wonder Prilis had such a hard time dealing with it. Now the matter is resolved. Shall we head back to the, into, into the city? Yeah, I'm starved. I concur. What? D do you even get hungry? I don't, in fact, for him, as you know, at all. I'm very surprised replaying in such a fashion would 
duly continue the flow of a conversation? Yeah, just the opposite, actually. <laughs> Are these going to teleport us back to town? Yep, they teleport us back to town. I'm going to get going. Don't want them finding out I've been skiving off work. But today wasn't half bad. He takes his duties as a knight pretty seriously, doesn't he? I guess he actually is a good person. If you could get past everything else. I must also take my leave. I do not wish to inconvenience the Rheindals. I will make certain that the statue is returned to them. Oh, yes! Thank you very much! She's gonna put it back herself? I hope she doesn't get caught. You know it all. In the short time we spent with those two, I feel like we got to know them a little better. Still, we haven't learned anything more about our gifts. And I was hoping to at least learn something about Aprilis. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Do you really think so? No. <laughs> During that full moon Grimwald knocks, even Aprilis was distraught. I feel like there's a lot more coming that we won't be prepared for. But all we can do is keep going and give it our all. Yeah. I know there's still more I can do. Oh, I should get back to the shop. I'll see you later, Ada. Hey, you hear about what happened? What happened? You know what I'm talking about. I mean, how those thieves robbed the shops on Artisan Lane. Oh, you mean those thieves who were found locked up somehow? I heard that the Monstrums tricked him into a prison cell and then left him there. Really? Then that means they must have broken into the prison again. I wouldn't be surprised if they found their way into this tower one of these days. Speaking of surprises, isn't the Knight's facility... No, never mind. Hey, you can't follow something like that with a never mind. Well, let's just mind our own business and do our jobs. Come on, let's finish these rounds. Okay. Time to explore the prison again. Okay. Nothing changed there. Going. Well, apparently I'm going down. 
Luxurious carpeting lines the floor. What is this place? Nothing I do about that area. Where in the world is this? The setting unfolding before you looks like, like the inside of a prison. I can't expect I I can't expect it our next meeting to happen in here of all places. Well, the government the government general caught when my little is listed dealings, you see? Let's be taking it easy in here while things cool off outside. Oh, I heard Sil said his government general was harsh, but sheesh. Would those in control were just a would that those in control were just a little more lenient, huh? Completely agree. At any rate, I procured the goods you wanted just as requested. If you're all asked you continue your patronage with us after release. The shrewd businessman, as always, I see. I'll be sure to keep you in mind. Some folks are downright cruel with how they treat those under Rome's dominion. Hey, money talks in the end. We all know it to be true. And thanks to this lot, I've been able to pull in a pretty tight sum if I do say so. Alright, time to get to work. I'll need to make a killing if I plan on getting my, into the upper crust myself. Alright, inmates. Form a line for admission. Let me check in your access passes, so make sure you have them out and ready. My goodness, all this procedure just to enter the special sector? As if the small fortune I spent on my admission fee wasn't enough. Well, personally, I'm sick of sick and tired of living in those communal cells. Unless you moved up here sooner with how long I have left on my sentence. You make a fair point. But don't forget, the new warden Belger doesn't exactly care for this place. One word can only one can only wonder how long it has left. Well, if that's all you're worried about, you can just rest easy. Those admission fees are one of the prison's great sources of revenue. Won't be so easy to. Hey, you two, no chit chat until you're inside. Sorry about that. Who does that soldier think he is? There's two floors further down. Okay. Do, 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 do. Grumpy man. Come to think of it, I don't think I've even so much as seen him today. That would be because he's a loony. I, I'll bet he's gone off to a chapel all by his lonesome again. Honestly, that boy's done a terrible job feeding with the rest of us. And certainly not for any lack of wit on his part, either. Why even came in here to begin with, I'll never understand. So we have a chapel goer. And apparently everyone else does not like chapel goers. Or they don't fit. Chapel goers, ch chapel goers don't fit in. Huh. This is a cozy little establishment, that much I won't deny. But I can't say I'm fond of the fact that any lowborn can saunter in for the right price. It won't be like that. Why, well, it's thanks to them that we have no ex excess of boredom. I call that a more valuable commodity than anything in here, wouldn't you? I suppose you do have a point. Getting enough from the nightly ball would be not if I couldn't shut them up. Yeah, I trust you'll accompany me for tonight's function. Well, of course, my lady. Burn the place to the fucking ground. Oh, look. Oh, looks like it's about time to swap out. We must get a move on, or the warden will never let us hear the end of it. Let's cut the chatter, chatter and start making our rounds of the general blocks. Prince guards are no longer standing watch. The 
trap door is held shut by a sturdy lock and several nails. It won't budge in the slightest. This also uh, this seems almost comically excessive. What could have happened to warrant this? Oh, I wonder. I wonder what could have happened. This appears to be a chapel. It's quite, it's quiet and serene, with no sign of people. Well, that was a fucking lie. Well, I guess this isn't people. This is person. Whoa! Don't scare me like that. Sheesh. There's not usually people in here this late. Um, taking a nap, of course. Doesn't get much quieter than an empty church. Wait a sec. You're not... Don't take this the wrong way, but you don't belong here, do you? I'm a prisoner, actually. <laughs> That's not exactly what I meant. Well, I still haven't been able to find my bearings here in the special sector, either. Where we are? That's right, my friend. They call it that because only felons who can afford the hefty fee can stay here. You can dress however you want and go wherever you want. To an extent. And you can even go shopping in here. It's not all that different from the outside. I knew it. This is your first time here. Supposedly, it was established when a Roman noble was held prisoner here. Not just nobles. Politicians, businessmen. Anybody with a name or the right amount of cash gets to stay here. They say that some politicians use this place to hide from their little scandals. <laughs> Glad to hear it. The name's Marius. I don't actually remember much about anything before I came here. Funny, right? Being punished for a crime you don't remember committing? So, how'd you end up in here? I've decided to trust him, you tell Marius about what happened. So, Adol's your name, huh? Being an adventurer must be an exciting job. But I can understand why you'd be wanted by the Roman military. Yeah, there's definitely something going on. I'm Roman, and even I haven't got a clue what I'm locked up for. Hmm. Let's say we work together to collect information. How about it, at all? We've got a lot in common. Neither of us are supposed to be here. And you know what? I think we can be friends, too. Well... Great! It's settled then. Okay, Adol. I can't wait to get started. Now the time for the guards to begin making their rounds. It's best to return your cell before they realize you've escaped. Have you got some place to be? Let's talk next time, then. By the way, Adol. Do you have an access pass? Oh, right. You wouldn't know about it. It's a pass that lets you come and leave the special sector whenever you want. You're usually supposed to get one with your admission fee. Things will be difficult for us as long as you don't have one. Alright, I'll see if there's anything I can do about that. Mention it. We've got to look out for each other from now on. Well, I guess I'll catch you later, at all. And there we go, the end of chapter four. I should have taken more time to worry about the knocks. Oh, Christian.
Aisha. I wish you were here to see his face. Rodario was in such a panic after realizing that Anamona had also gone missing. You two must have been so worried. He must have found out that Anamona wasn't in the shop. Don't be ridiculous. You were the one blundering about like the world's end was at our doorstep. That's right, I was. That's how any mother would react if her dear daughter went missing. <clears throat> In any case, when we returned to the shop, both Anna Mona and St. Rosvita's statue were here. It was as if they were never gone at all. The mysteries of the world never cease to amaze this old man. <laughs> really? Wow! <laughs> but I've already told you, Rodario. It was Anna Mona. She was the one who brought St. Rosvita's statue back to us. What makes you think that? I didn't want to tell Rodario because I thought it would worry him. But Anna Mona has been going on her little outings for some time now. Oh, not this nonsense again. A doll taking a stroll all on her own? This isn't a fairy tale. Then tell me, Rodario, who could have returned the statue? Well, you see, the culprits are in prison, so... Uh, hmm. <laughs> you can think what you want, dear. I know what really happened. <sighs> Chapter 5, The Raging Bull's Treasure. Oh, hey, Adol. Good morning to you, my adorable Krisha. Good morning. Yeah. It's a great day outside. Magnificent day indeed. I'll embrace it to its fullest. Now then. Oh my, Krisha's hard at work already. How many days in a row is this? We've got clean to do, you know. He's been like this every day. Oh heavens, cranky as usual. Did someone ruffle the feral hawk's feathers again? Something like that. This is how he gets whenever he fights an opponent he's unsatisfied with. You run around hurting people and you're the one who's sulking? You're gonna get what's coming to you someday. What? If you show people kindness, life will be paying you in kind. But show them cruelty and you can bet it'll bite back. You're starting, to, you're starting to sound a whole lot like those sheep at the church. So I, I don't, don't believe in being nice as a quid pro quo. That's not what I meant. I don't, Krisha, back me up here. If someone's going to come after me and you tip for tap for something I did for, to them, then I'll welcome it gladly. <laughs> Credo? Hey, Yufa. Looks like you were spent at Arson... Looked like you were spent at Arson Lane. You look fine now. I was just a little tired. But I'm better now, thanks to you all. Hmm. Um, excuse me? Uh, how can I help um. you? siblings huh your siblings <laughs> I guess the cat's out of the bag 
We'd like to thank you for always looking out for Yufa. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. My goodness. Aren't they the most precious things? You three know better than to come to the bar. You shouldn't even look that angry, though. What are you guys doing here? Is something the matter? Hey, we came all this way for you, you know? Here, this is yours. You forgot your apron at home. We thought you'd need it. Ah, oh, shoot. I do, don't I? <laughs> Thank you for bringing it to me. You're all so responsible now. Oh, I'm so proud of all of you. We just didn't want you to break your promise because you forgot this and had to stay late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Did you have something planned? She promised she'd take us to the Colosseum. There's a Colosseum <laughs> here? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's... The Colosseum is located in the Entertainment District. It's a place where people fight, but they also host other events there. Was there an event that the children were particularly interested in? Hey, did you know? Yufa's boyfriend is there right now. Yufa, ooh la la. Why is this the first time I'm hearing of this? B -b boyfriend <laughs> Getting some action, huh, Yufa? What are you teaching these poor kids? I'm not teaching them anything. I mean... He's... He's not my boyfriend. We've just been friends since we were kids. Hey, you three. No more joking around, okay? I was the one who said it. Yep, it was me. Ood, I know you were the one who told her in the first place. Ah, how embarrassing. Anyway, he's a friend of mine who works at the Coliseum. He invited them to visit. How lovely! Your friend is very generous. <laughs> yes, he's really nice. We're looking forward to it. So make sure you aren't late, okay, Yufa? I know, I know. Thanks for bringing me my apron. Well, we don't want to get in the way of your work, so we'll go home. Aww. But I want to stay here with you, Fa. Elle, maybe if we finish all our chores, we could go a little early. Really? Then let's hurry up and go home! <laughs> Alright, you three. Be sure to come back soon, okay? Okay. Aren't they just the most darling little things? Yeah, they're adorable. Hmm. If I remember correctly, Yufa, your parents. Yes, they both passed away during the war with the Roman Empire. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's okay. It happened eight years ago, when the Roman Empire invaded Glia. My family lived on the outskirts of Balduk. We couldn't evacuate in time, and before we knew it, the war was right on our doorstep. Roman soldiers invaded our village. They would have killed us if our parents hadn't sacrificed themselves to save us. You've been through a lot, Yufa. But you know something? I've never met anyone as strong as you. What do you mean? Anybody can tell by looking at those children how well you've raised them. They're responsible, and they're compassionate. Wouldn't you agree, my dear Adol? Yeah! Sorry, Adol. 
I've got my hands full taking care of three kids as it is. The war changed everything for us. But those three kept me going. I'll do whatever it takes to keep them safe. And to make sure they can lead happy, peaceful lives. And we'll always be here to support you. That means a lot, Shantae. All right, let's get to work. New quests are available. However, this is a perfect time to call it. The start of the new chapter. That means that next time, which will be Tuesday, we'll get started on the next chapter, on this one. I don't know what time I'll be starting on Tuesday, um, since I'm actually off from my main job on Tuesdays. On, I might start go. early, I don't know yet. I'll figure that out when I get there. Um, this weekend, even if I don't do... Um, my collab with my Divinity crew, I'm in talks with another team about t other games. I don't know what games we're going to be playing yet. The current discussion is Helldivers 2. But I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get there. Um, I'm hoping that here in the next day or so to finally have the last few touches I'm looking at for the, v the the VTuber avatar and if I can find the right I'm, I'm looking for something just one or two pieces I don't even know what I'm looking for I'm just looking for something and once I figure it out I'll be definitely going live with that one these days um, thank you all for joining me today this one's been a kind of a this one was kind of wild Thank you all for joining me today. And as always, I hope I see you guys next time. Bye.